Uh, George, we discussed in the past your relationship with Michael Jordan. Um, it goes beyond basketball and even friendship. You've once told me, tell uh, the viewers out there about Michael Jordan in the boardroom. Well, you know, I, I, let's say, you know, Michael Jordan in the boardroom of life not, and just not confined into business. I, I, I think that one of the, the disadvantages that Michael has is that people tend to see Michael through the athletic uh, uh, lens uh, uh, too much. They tend to, to equate everything through sports and basketball uh, 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 particularly. But I, 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 I like to talk to people also about Michael Jordan, uh, the person. Uh, you know, my, Michael is... It, 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 one of his sterling attributes is his ability to listen. He's a great listener. He's a great observer. Michael has a very disciplined mind, and I think a lot of a lot of the, the things that have transpired with Michael with with the with the uh, pro franchises uh, are, are, are things that people. Uh, uh, don't truly understand. Michael's not a guy that's going to spend a lot of time trying to, to convince you that the way you see him is wrong. Because I, I'm not sure at the end of the day that Michael really cares that much about uh, what, what you think one way or another. I, I, I have a certain a set of values that are going to conduct my life as Michael Jordan, and I'm going to do them. I'm going to do them in an exemplary manner. And if they don't fit your values, then then so be it. And and and, and I think he's he's got uh, unbelievable loyalty to people. Uh, he'll always be there when you need him. I think he's a person that asks good questions. Uh, and and I think that going directly from uh, a player to an owner is is a huge jump, and, and it takes some. Adjustment along the the way, uh, and so I think had, had, has Michael ma made some decisions and observations that that he would like to change. Sure, but I think that all of us, uh, Bill Gates, uh, uh, Steve Jobs, all of us have things in our life that we we would alter if we had time. We could call time out and revisit them, and that. But I I, I I believe as we continue to move along that Michael will do the things that are necessary to build a tough franchise. The thing that I think with Michael is that he that he inherited uh, uh, teams that have that have always been in a rebuilding mode and so forth, and and so it makes his task to achieve successful even more. Uh, uh, a demand, and I don't. Uh, by no means do do I make excuses for Michael. And Michael would probably be upset if he thought I was. I just believe that people make judgments about Michael away from the basketball court who really don't know Michael, and so it, 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 it's it, it's it, it's a subjective evaluation. It's not an objective evaluation. I would suggest that people really got to know Michael. As well as I've got to know them, they would they would they would have a totally different analysis of who Michael Jordan is as a person. Well, share with us because um, I know you have with me being in a, uh, a decision making mode. Let's say when Brand Jordan took off, uh, how Michael would be in a meeting with clothing designers and and people like that. Um, you said that great listener, but he also had great ideas. Yeah, I think Michael is a visionary. I think he understood, uh, you know, what would a appeal to the masses. He always had a say in the construction of, of the, the, the footwear and the gear. People don't know this, but Jordan Brand is operated as a separate entity. It's owned by Nike. But it's run as a separate uh, uh, business. It has its own president, vice president, and so forth. And and Jordan Brand is the second most successful basketball brand in the world. It's more successful brand in basketball than Adidas, Reebok, or 
or uh, Under Armour. And, and most people don't 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 know that. Uh, it, it, it's achieved amazing success. And you know, Jack, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but. In the very beginning, Michael never really wanted to be with Nike because all this was taking place during '84 right. with the Olympic team, and so you know I, I knew where Michael's head was because I was trying to recruit him for Nike, and he would always say, "Coach, I keep telling them I'm an Adidas guy, man. I'm an Adidas guy, and 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 uh, well, I want to go with Nike." And you know, at that time, Nike is in the very embryonic stages of its growth in that. And, 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 and so... Uh, well, let me interrupt you. Why would he be an Adidas guy if he wore Converse at North Carolina? I, I don't really know the answer to that. I just know that somewhere along the line, uh, he, he felt better in, con, uh, in Adidas than Converse. And, and so uh, I kept uh, badgering him about it. And Sonny McCarroll had asked me to try to get a meeting with him. So we get to the Olympic Village and... And I talked Michael into going over and meeting with Sonny uh, Vaccaro over at Tony Romer's in Santa Monica. So we're riding over, and Michael said, Coach, it's a waste of time. I'm just doing this to get you off my ass, you know. <laughs> he said, I, uh, and, and, and I'm told you I'm going to be an Adidas guy. So anyway, he meets with Sonny. He doesn't impress him that much. And, and so, but anyway, uh, he ends up going up to Nike uh, for a meeting. And, and, uh, and they, Mikey lays everything out for him. And as I understand it, the deciding uh, blow was that uh, in the deal that Nike put together, they said you can have a signature shoe, which is, ended up being Air Jordan. At that time, there was no signature shoe in the industry. So, it, so Nike, Michael goes to Adidas and says, if you match this, then, then I'll sign with you. And Adidas wouldn't match the signature shoe part. So he, he ended up signing with Nike. And that's my version of, of, of how he got to Nike. Now, Sonny might have a different one, and Mr. Knight might have a different one, and uh, Rob Strasser, God bless him, is dead now, was a big Nike uh, 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 exec at that time, might have a different one. But that's my version of how, uh, a condensed version of how he got to Nike. But Adidas probably would take back their uh, refusal <laughs> if they had no. Yeah. <laughs>